What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And today I'm going to show you a full day of eating on this off-season diet, a higher carb day, so the first meal of the day will be my favorite one of the day, the oatmeal. If possible, I would have it every single meal for the six meal moments of the day, but we're keeping it to meal moment number one because we need different kinds of fats, different carbs and different protein sources to fuel the day. But anyway, let me show you the first meal. So I am at the gym by the way, so what I always do is I take my bag right there and I simply put a bowl in here. What the hell is this? Oh no, 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 no. All right, all right. I take this bowl, an empty clean bowl as you can see. And I always take these containers as well. This is actually my protein, the whey isolate, 60 grams, actually right over there. If it sharpens, right there. And also right there, right there, and right there. Wow, look at that. But anyway, this is the protein. And we've also got the, uh, the oatmeal right here. And there's actually 120 grams of oatmeal in here. We're gonna put it inside kaboom of the bowl and I'm also going to add some sweetener some liquid simple sweetener to make it even more delicious and actually some salt so this is some Persian blue salt I always like to use uh, not only the sodium but a salt source and add it before cooking it or putting it in the microwave and trust me it'll make the taste so much more amazing so let's do that right now all right so I've got the liquid uh, you know, sweetener right here put it in there just uh, by feel to make it that much more delicious add the salt and now watch this it might look like a quite a lot of salt adding it right now kaboom 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 now did that look like a lot is my blood pressure going to explode is my heart going to beat out of my chest no i've been doing this for many months in every single meal what you want to do is focus on the taste, the flavor. Your body knows exactly how much sodium it needs, so add as much sodium until it becomes too salty. If it's not too salty, it's going to be what your body needs. I've just done cardio as well, so I had, I sweated a lot, I drank, and the more you drink without a replenishing sodium, the less it will be available in your body. And you need it for every single muscle contraction. But not only the sodium is in here, but this is an example of different minerals. You can see the different colors in here. Now, this is not the best example. A pink Himalayan salt would be better because the pink color tells you that there's different minerals apart from sodium in there. Because I have an example here, just plain white sodium. Um, that's not a good... Um, way to add sodium you have to add sodium with a mineral salt adding other minerals such as magnesium copper iron and stuff like that uh, sometimes there's even 60 plus minerals in there uh, that your body needs for a lot of enzymatic enzymatic processes <laughs> yes that's the way for example metabolizing protein fats carbs giving you energy giving you a better mood just a lot of processes but anyway i'm going to add around half a liter of water to this and then i'm going to put it in a microwave so let's enjoy this meal man after having added the water we're gonna put it in the microwave kaboom right here put it in there what i like to do is around you know four and a half to five minutes because you need at least at least five minutes to cook oatmeal properly and uh, as I said we are in the gym this is actually the area you come in when you come in a gym uh, in general so that's the door right there that's outside and maybe if you can see kaboom that's the vintage genetics mobile so yes this is the gym 100% fit gym that we work out at every single day one rest day of course but uh, this pretty much is my life right now and there's a lot more coming for sure this is only the beginning but uh, to give you a quick summary um, I, I've almost finished my study uh, my university study uh, nutrition and dietetics 
I actually did my thesis already, or however you call it. It's called scripsy in the Netherlands, but uh, you know, pretty much a thesis in uh, American or English. And um, what that is, what it was about, is calculating the resting metabolic rate of bodybuilders. And I finished it, and I actually got uh, you know nominated by the school for an award. And I'm actually going to be presenting it at a congress in Poland in uh, September called the Aspen, which is a very big deal. So I'm going to film all of that. I'm going to tell you exactly uh, how it's, you know, what it really entails in a different video. But pretty much, you know, the Harrison Benedict formula or other formulas that predict how much calories you burn in rest, and based on that, you calculate uh, how much calories you burn with activity, with your activity factor. So for example, if you burn 2000 calories uh, by the Harrison Benedict, you multiply it by 1.5, if that's your activity factor, and you burn 3000 calories, and you maintain your weight with that amount of calories. What I did is make my own formula specified for bodybuilders. Um, you know, I'm gonna tell you a lot more about this in a different video, but I'm um, very happy that I was able to do this in combination with the University Hogeschool van Arnhem and Nijmegen in the Netherlands. Anyway, let's go to the oatmeal. What I also am is a big believer in the benefits of fruits, because if you would only be eating rice and plain foods, um, you know, you would not be getting every single benefit that there is. So I'm eating a kiwi, right? with this oatmeal. I'm gonna cut this heart piece out and on this side as well and wash it but I'm gonna eat it with this skin because this skin itself and right under the skin there is a layer that is very good for protein digestion and it's you know usually the skin of a fruit has more nutrients in there than the fruit itself. So whenever you can, make sure you purchase one with for, from a good source so there's not any pesticides on there. And that's why I wash it as well. So after doing that, it's safe to eat, but more, uh, you know, healthy than eating the regular one. And uh, it's, you know, you would think, oh, well, it's gonna taste like garbage, but trust me, you won't even notice a difference, but it's much healthier. And next to that, I'm going to have uh, adding some, um, as you can see, some blueberries. Let's open it up right here. You've got 125 grams of blueberries in there. The outer shell of blueberries actually has the ability to inhibit estrogen production or to lower the amount of estrogen in the body. So that's why I'm adding this as well. So fruits, you know, on top of that effect, a lot of more effects in the fruits, minerals, antioxidants, vitamins, uh, all working together perfectly in your body. But I really love adding vegetables to the diet. I mean, adding uh, fruits to the diet and vegetables, which a lot of people forget. All right, I've got the bowl right here. I actually added the isolate as well and the blueberries. Time to mix it up like this. And what you want is a perfect consistency, uh, not too solid and not too liquid, to really make sure that the eating experience of this meal is perfection. And when you've made oatmeal quite a lot of times, you know exactly the amount of water to add. You know, I add water, I don't add milk or almond milk anymore. Simple water, um, it tastes just as good, but you have less calories, so you can actually add more oatmeal if you want. Um, and this is the consistency that you get, basically. To me, this is the perfection. It's not too solid, as you can see, it's still just perfect. A nice porridge effect, but, we haven't added a fat source yet. Of course, we've got the fat source from the uh, pro I mean, from the oatmeal itself. We've got the protein source. We've got the carb source, uh, the kiwi, the blueberries, and the oatmeal. But no true added fat source. What I'm going to do is add some beautiful chocolate drops. I'm going to add it right now. 30 grams of 75% pure chocolate. Adding it here, just like that. And trust me, when oatmeal is hot, it is absolutely delicious. This will slowly melt, and I usually eat around the chocolate first, so you can enjoy the chocolate last. But it's very delicious, and the reasoning why it's pure chocolate like this is because it has a lot of added um, phytonutrients just 
like why I add the kiwi and the blueberries. I'm adding this dark chocolate not only because it's very delicious to have, but also because of the many benefits it has, such as upping the nitric oxide. I will be working out after this meal around two hours or two and a half hours later. It will give a better pump. It will have a lot of different minerals, antioxidants as well, but also a very important muscle building factor, which I will make a separate video about. But trust me, um, this chocolate hasn't been processed before. It hasn't been, hasn't gone up uh, high in temperature to produce this chocolate. So it retained all of its uh, nutrients. So that's why it's so healthy and delicious. Anyway, I will certainly enjoy this first meal and then workout. Alrighty, just finished the workout. Actually, I uh, worked the triceps separately. Feels pretty good indeed. Worked out for around 45 minutes. You can't really stretch a uh, workout of a single small muscle group for more than that. Otherwise, you will be overtraining that muscle. But yes, um, this is a regular carb day or high carb day, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm showing you the post rocket meal right now. So let's check it out. So what we have right here is a prepared Tupperware box with some codfish, around 300 grams uh, uncooked. So, you know, a lot of people ask me, do you weigh it raw or cooked? I always weigh everything raw because then you can tell how much protein it is. If it is cooked or baked or grilled or, or boiled, it doesn't matter. It loses the water content and depending on the cooking technique, different amounts of water is lost. Also depends on how long you cook it for. So you always have to weigh it raw, then calculate how much protein it is, which for this, it's about 60 grams of protein or, you know, 50 to 60 grams, depending on which white fish you use and then cook it. And then it doesn't matter how much weight it is. And I've always also have the turmeric rice. I prepared this in a rice cooker. As you can see, this rice is a lot looser. Uh, you saw in my previous cooking video that I made a lot of rice. That was with uh, regular basmati rice, but this is done with Uncle Ben's rice, and you can see the difference. So around 250 grams of cooked uh, Uncle Ben's uh, white rice. And we've also got some vegetables, some zucchini, and some Brussels sprouts, some nice green vegetables. And I made sure to add plenty enough of salt on top of the uh, spices like the turmeric and the ginger. But look at this, guys. Look at this. I got this right after eating my breakfast. I heard a package come into the gym, and it is my Iron Idol. It actually came out. It's already uh, available for pre-order on ironidols.com. This is my own Iron Idol with a classic mantis side chest pose, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. They were also very nice in, uh, you know, making this one, making sure that it really fits my own criteria, which, you know, bodybuilding, you work for it for many years and you want it to be perfection. So they kept sending me prototypes until we were all satisfied and this is the final result. So check this one out. The details are right there. So in the face, you can actually see the blue eyes. You can see the facial details that I have myself. And of course, you know, I have to say the body is pretty accurate, right? <laughs> but yes, it uh, has the classic vacuum, the Arnold classic pose and uh, just an amazing classic physique shorts as well. So head on to ironidols.com. It's still 25% off for any order you make on the website. There's a lot of different Iron Idols as well, but I am one of them along with William Bonac, two Dutchmen on the website. So make sure to check them out to receive your own Iron Idol. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this meal right now. And before I had this meal, I had 20 minutes before that, I actually had my own uh, whey protein shake, whey isolate shake in here. Uh, the whey isolate, you can see right there of my own brand, Gladiator Pro Sports. All right, after having done some work at the gym, I'm now back home and it's time for meal number three. We had the breakfast, the post rocket meal, and now it's meal number three. And honestly, I try to keep it quite simple uh, in the off season during most days. It's going to be the simple carb sources, good vegetable sources, healthy fat sources, and mostly the same uh, protein sources, but using different spices to uh, literally spice it up. So let's check the ingredients of meal number three, cooking it right now. So first, 
we have some uh, broccoli rice. I highly recommend get this if you are uh, someone who doesn't really like to cook but wants a healthy and quick meal to add their vegetables. This is 200 grams of uh, broccoli rice. Just make sure to add a little bit of this cooking spray to it, coconut spray. Make sure it doesn't stick. Right here, you've got some codfish slowly marinating in the soy sauce. And the soy sauce that I'm using is this one right here, just a regular cheaper brand. But uh, you gotta look at the calories, and this only has 72 calories per 100 grams. And this entire bottle will be 150 milliliters in total, and you only use a little bit each time, so that is negligible. This is salt from the Alps. You can see the different colors in there, and those colors represent different minerals. Now, guess what this color stands for? Just like Mars, the planet, it has a lot of iron in there, oxidized. You know, a lot of iron, and that's the red, what the red color comes from. So you know that there's a lot of iron in, in this salt. So if you have an iron uh, deficiency, especially as a female, using this on your meals definitely does help. Already added it to there on top of uh, some peppers. And then we also have the rice that we're using. Now this is a new batch of the Uncle Ben's rice, and look at that. Just perfect rice. This is exactly how I like to see it. And if you look closely, you can see fresh turmeric in there. Fresh turmeric and fresh ginger all throughout. That is where it gets the color from. I didn't use any powder at all. Simply fresh ginger, fresh turmeric in the rice cooker right there. Uh, put in like 800 grams of dry rice and a few batches of this came out. Perfectly cooked rice and I'm gonna eat about 200 grams of this had 250 grams post-workout and the other meals have a little less carbs not a dramatic difference but the difference is there then as a fat source oops, I'm going to add some avocado rich source of potassium and other healthy uh, contents, nutrients that's in there and uh, you can see there's the fruit I like to use some bananas as well sometimes for the potassium some kiwis as I mentioned some uh, bell peppers for the easy digestibility so yes, I'm going to create this meal and show you the end result. Would you look at that? That is the final meal. You can see the white uh, codfish right here, marinated in the soy sauce, enough salt in there already. And then the turmeric rice and the uh, broccoli rice. So uh, that's a very nice combination indeed. Sometimes you simply have to make it simple and delicious. And if you can do that consistently, you will make most gains. So. I think uh, meal number four and five will be exactly this and only meal six will have a higher fat content as that meal will be before bed. But let's enjoy this right now. Alright guys, we arrived at the next meal as you can see the vegetables have changed. 200 grams of a nice vegetable mix. But the fish is exactly the same. This is the fish right here, the cod fish. And we've got the white, I mean the basmati rice with the turmeric spices. So it's gonna be the same macros for this meal. I mean, you gotta be honest, that looks pretty good. You have to say, just look at that. And I do advise actually to choose different vegetables. As you, as you see, it's broccoli, cabbage, a pumpkin. All the colors of these vegetables stand for different phytonutrients different uh, you know um, vitamins minerals stuff like that just like with the salt so make sure that the many colors are on your plate every single day to make sure that you have enough of each nutrient in your diet look here the meal number four of the day um, by the way the macros are in the description box below for every single meal of the day so if you are wondering what the macros are for each meal and the total amount of course check it out in the description box but as you can see again 300 grams of codfish it's steaming even that's how hot it is we've got plenty of salt again some broccoli avocado is a fat source but this time half an avocado and five grams of coconut oil and some vegetable mix uh, along with it with some beautiful turmeric and ginger spices again from the cooked rice so let's enjoy this all right guys and then the last meal of the day which is the meal that is a bit different from the rest which i told you guys 
higher fat and a lot of different ingredients. So let's check that one out. And you can see it right there. It is a perfectly cooked oven baked salmon actually. 300 grams, a lot of protein and also a lot of healthy fats. And this is actually just some um, pureed sweet potatoes and pureed uh, cauliflower mixed. 300 grams of cauliflower mix and uh, 200 grams of sweet potato puree. So uh, it may not look very delicious right there, but you can season it perfectly with salt, a little pepper, some other spices, and it becomes delicious. You can either make it sweet or savory, and I made it savory, of course, and then the salmon, put some dill, some fresh dill on there to enjoy this meal to the max. So let's do that just now. Ooh, and I just transformed. Who is I? Who is he? Who is this guy? I am. Wesley. But anyway, you can see me editing this video right now. It's the next day and uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and as you see in this video, this edit is done, uploaded and complete. I'm actually going to spend this very weekend in Pisa in Italy uh, with my girlfriend. So uh, it's going to be a nice relaxation weekend. So if you guys are sending me emails in the weekends, unfortunately, I will have to answer them on Monday and I won't be able to answer them in the weekends. But anyway, I want to thank you for your ongoing golden support. And don't forget to stay golden.